Okay, we're uh, getting ready for the start of the boys' race now. We just saw a great girls' race where uh, Bridget Blake, uh, Emily Headley, Amber Johnson top three with Bryce Seymour fourth. Real good race. It looks like Olympia probably won it, but we're getting ready for the boys' race right now. Again, this is going to be probably the Andre Arroyo show uh, and Colonial Boys uh, heavily favored in this race. But uh, I think that the, the thing on the team side is probably going to see which six qualify from the region. Again, the region of death is renowned for uh, for its competitiveness uh, between you know one through ten on the team side so uh, we'll see how that plays out but you know and then we have our uh, our freshman phenom Brandon Marquez who uh, we'll see how he does today in his first region of death meet but uh, I'm expecting pretty good things out of him too so we'll see Gun is up and they're off for the uh, 4A Region 1 boys. So uh, again, we'll see how uh, Arroyo does, but it uh, should be fun. We'll go to the 1K mark. Okay, here we come through. Coming real fast through the first 1K. 240 right now. That's Andre Arroyo. Kenneth Pinheiro in second. <laughs> Flagler's Thomas Carroll, John Lindsay. There's Brandon Marquez talking to Connor Ferentino. <laughs> That's an interesting concept there. Let's see, we got our uh, first Olympia runner, two and three Olympia runners. There's Boo Holes, Boone, running together as a pack. Hard to tell this early. There's another Olympia. Colonial, we're thinking, is probably the favorite. I, we've had a few Colonial runners go by. So uh, again, it's Andre Arroyo, but it's got a lot tighter pack this week. Okay, we're coming through in the 2K now. Uh, it looks like probably Andre Arroyo is probably going to be pulling away here. He's about 540. He's doing uh, about 15, 10 pace right now, but he looks like he's just strolling along. Again, Arroyo, a big favorite today. Followed behind by uh, Kenneth Pinheiro. Uh, out of go, uh, out of the land, and then Thomas Carroll go, from Flagler, and John Lindsay go, from go, Winter Park. So those four, and then we got a flock which includes Connor Tarantino from Freedom and the freshman from uh, Timber Creek. There's the third, fourth Colonial runner. So Colonial again. There's two Boone runners we saw last week at the district meet. So it's going to be. Uh, Kind of a team competition coming through here. There's the uh, top two Olympia guys. Here's Boone, three, four, five, and six guys, so they're strong. And there's the fifth uh, Colonial guy just went by, so they've got five through. And then Olympia's three, four, and five are right here. So we'll see how uh, see how they do. But again, it's a uh, Arroyo up front. Well, followed behind uh, by uh, Kenneth Pinheiro from Deland, but I think there's a lot of uh, posturing going on up front with some of those, our top runners, Connor Ferentino and Brandon Marquez. As I said, they were chatting through the 1K mark, and it looks like they're just kind of strolling through to, uh, to get through the regional meet, so, uh, or to the state meet. But we'll see. They probably will turn it on the last mile, I would guess, you know, and when the competition flares up. I'm sure they want to be in the mix, so we'll see. Okay, we're coming up to the uh, the two mile mark. Boy, he's uh, it's 9:40. Woo! So Andre Arroyo looks like he might be shooting for the course record out here. 9:45. So uh, and he's got a pretty good lead over second place. It's uh, Pinero. Ken Pinero run a good good race though. He's a uh, sub 10 too. 9:54. So uh, the, those top two. It, but it looks like a Arroyo. Again, Marquez. as we've Marquez. always seen. Oh, here comes Brandon Marquez, the freshman. So we want him to and Connor Ferentino. So I said they were chatting earlier, but they've uh, they made a game of it right now. And there's Lewis, and there's uh, John Lindsay, and then they said Raul Ramirez from Colonial. And then there's the third Colonial runner, Caleb Lick. So they uh, and here comes fourth runner. That's John Prophet. Their number four colonial runner. There's Mandarin. Mandarin is the second favorite here today. And here comes the boom contingent. Use your head in this last one. Use your head. And then uh, we've got a little bit of a spread here. 
There's the uh, Olympias one and two. You're gonna have to make. There's the fifth Colonial runner, I believe. So they've got five through already. So I, I think it's Colonial, and then we're gonna have to see who's second. But Bone has got a lot of guys up there and Mandarin. Okay, here comes our leader with uh, one stretch here to go. He's at 13:35. Probably got about another minute and a half to go. Andre Sorroyo, again, class of the competition, just about every race he gets into, he's going to go down and, as one of the best ever. So. Long stretch before a second. Kenneth Pinheiro. He's having a good run today, though. He's at about 14 minutes. And then here comes Brandon Marquez and, uh, and Connor Ferentino. Third and fourth, we were wondering if the freshman was going to pour it on, and he certainly looks fresh. He's going strong. And Connor Ferentino, let's go over the finish line. Okay, we're coming down to the stretch run here. It's, uh, again, Andre Sorroyo kicking it in, just one last stretch. He's at right at 15 flat right now. Course record's 15-15. He's going to give it a run for the money. He's at... Uh, 1508, 1509, he's got it. He's coming across 15. Wow. It's a very nice run for uh, Andre Sorroyo breaking the five year old mark here out in, up in Gainesville. Second place, looks like Kenneth Pinheiro. He's also kicking it in. Very nice time. 1530, 1531. So he's coming through in 1534. Brandon Marquez, the freshman, first regional meet and region of death. Look for him, 1541. And then Connor Ferentino from Freedom. Very nice run for him as well, 1548. So now we're going to look at the team. I probably is going to be uh, Colonial. This is the second Colonial runner, Raul Ramirez, sub 16, 1558. John Lindsay. 1601, 1602, Thomas Lewis from Flagler. And then here comes the Mandarin group. Wow, one, two, three Mandarin guys. So that, they certainly have uh, put some points together. Here comes the fourth, or I'm thir sorry, third colonial runner, Carol Lick. Number four colonial runner, John Prophet. There's number four for Mandarin. They may be, they may be pushing uh, Colonial for first place. There's the first two boom guys. So right now it looks like Colonial Mandarin are fighting for first and second. Probably boom third. Push it, Bobby, push it, Bobby go! We're still at 16:45. Uh, These are still it, very good times. Sub 17. Mine has got some good runners as well. James Porter from Wakaiba. There's the first Olympian, second Olympian. These guys sub 17. I believe this is the fifth colonial runner. Six. And there's the Boone. Haggerty. So we, I think we've got five Boone guys, and I believe this is the fifth Mandarin guy. So I think it's colonial and then Mandarin and Boone would be the top three. Fight the team to get those top six spots. I know uh, both those teams, Olympia and uh, Here comes Olympia. Flagler in there. They're also in there for the top five. And there's Olympia runner. I think that's the fifth Olympia runner. So we'll see. It's, it's going to be close. Good job, David. Nice finish. Nice finish. Nice finish.